So thank you for joining our uh, virtual oven. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the obon experience in Japan. So obon in Japan is normally uh, is a special period to pay respect our loved one. So normally it's uh, between uh, August 13th uh, and uh, uh, 15th. So people visit their uh, family grave graveyard and uh, uh, to offer the flowers and uh, to conduct the service. Uh, and we Buddhist ministers visit our temples, uh, temple members' uh, house houses to conduct the service with the uh, temple members. It's also an uh, uh, important custom for us to uh, have a family re reunion. So my town in Japan is normally really quiet because not many many people uh, live in in our town. But during this abon period, it's really busy and lively. Uh, because many uh, family come back to the uh, their hometown, so it's uh, it's really fun uh, like period for for me for us in uh, too in in Japan. I grew up in a time uh, in Hawaii where Obon was uh, a very community based. In a way, it's still uh, like that. But it, I've been away for such a long time that I really don't know what Obon uh, is like today. Uh, I understand that sometimes uh, there have been uh, Obon festivals uh, in Waikiki where uh, thousands of people, tourists, come down to do Obon Odori uh, in a parking lot uh, somewhere uh, in Waikiki. But growing up, uh, Obon was a time for, you know, again, family members to come together and to spend a weekend. But the feeling uh, is the same. It's coming together uh, as family and friends. Obon, you know, starts with the story of Mogalana uh, and his uh, experience of his mother's death. Long, long time ago, when Shakyamuni Buddha was still alive, he had a disciple named Mogalana. By listening to the Buddhist talks and spending long hours at meditation, Mogalana acquired the power to be able to see and listen beyond normal realms at fantastic speeds. Now I shall take a long trip through all the other realms. Maybe I shall see my kind mother who passed away so long ago. Mogalana first searched through the pure land where there were birds of many colored feathers. The birds were very pretty, but despite where he searched, Mogalana could not find his mother. Mogalana searched through the watery world, where it rained all the time. He found interesting plants and animals, but as it rained and rained and rained, he found a place that, again, despite where he searched, just like the pure land with its birds, he did not find his mother. Finally, he next visited the land of hungry spirits where demons and spirits of evildoers dwell. Here he found no birds or rain. Instead, he found a land full of fire and everything that the spirits tried to, to eat turned into fire. He did not want to see scenes from this place. As he was about to leave, he heard a spirit yelling at a spirit. Yeah. You are truly low. So I've been cheated on this for years. You did not donate at all to the monks that came your ways for years. And that lie, it ended up causing the death of the sun. More fire. More fire. More fire. <laughs> Yes, in order to feed her family. After Mogolana's father passed away, his kind mother had cheated and stolen, and only thinking for herself. Never donated food to the monks, Mogolana's ears were filled with his mother's cries of anguish, and his eyes could no longer bear the sight. Mogolana was overcome with sadness for his mother's situation and asked the Buddha for a way to help his mother. Oh, Buddha, I have just seen my mother in the land of fire where everything she tries to eat turns into fire. How can I help her get to the pure land? 
Your mother is in the realm because of her actions while she was alive. To save her, you must practice compassion in this world in her name and give offerings to the monks. If you do so to the utmost of your ability, then your mother will be freed from that land. So Mokalana gave offerings to the community of food. He was kind to all, helped the young, sick, and the elderly. He was truly kind to all living things. When the rainy season was over, the birds came out again. The sun shone like fire in the sky. Mogulana sat in meditation and again peered into the other realms. This time, he first went to the land of hungry spirits. Still lots of fire, his mother was nowhere to be seen. Next, he traveled to the watery world. Still rain, no mother. Finally, he reached the pure land. Many flowers and many plumaged birds sang in the trees. And there was the spirit of his mother, finally happy and content. And almost as if she had sensed him, she smiled his way, put her hands together, and bowed. Mogolano was so overjoyed that he instantly jumped up and started to dance. And hearing his story, all of the Sangha danced with him in joy. That is the story of Ulanbana. The Chinese characters for Ulanbana is read as Urabon. In Japanese, which is shortened to Bun or Obon. Obon is a time to remember your ancestors and how they lived through you. But it's not just your ancestors. It is time to practice compassion to others around you and to give offerings to the monks just like Mogalana. The Shakyamuni Buddha's instructions to Mogalana are instructive. Uh, Shakyamuni Buddha doesn't tell him to go and meditate some more, go and practice some more, but rather he encourages Mogalana to do something for his community, and in doing so, is able to free his mother from the realm of hungry ghosts. As we gather together in our homes, uh, gather together uh, over the internet, uh, the connections are still there, the relationships are still there. And like the instructions of Shakyamuni Buddha to Mogalana, not to go, simply go inward, but rather to reach out, to be mindful of the community that surrounds us, that provides us to, with the opportunity to live our lives, even in the most difficult of times, that support helps us. And if we're mindful, a deep appreciation, sense of gratitude can arise in our hearts and minds. We express our gratitude and appreciation to the life that connects us all. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your um, participation uh, in our Obon at home. Thank you very much. Fire! And everything that the spirits tried to, to eat turned into fire. Obon is a time to remember your ancestors and how they lived through you, but it's not just your ancestors.